Hey there guys, Jared here, aka me so honey, back again with another video here, and today we're going to be going over the best decks for Standard and Wild after the mini set has been released. We've had the mini set now for, you know, a little over two days here, so uh, things are going to begin to settle down here probably on days three and four, and you're really going to start seeing what are the actual best decks in the format, and I can tell you right now, the best deck in the format is definitely Odin Warrior right now. Uh, this deck just has everything, has answers to everything, and just has good enough value in the middle game here to just out-tempo your opponents here. Uh, I would say three or four cards made an impact from the mini set so far. Uh, the first one being Yogg-Saron, almost for sure. They, like This is the card that's made the most impact in the most amount of decks. Uh, it's really good value, and it can also act like a prison of Yogg Saron, essentially, in getting you some random spells to get you back in the game um, that you're way behind on. So, you know, cards like this that have a really high ceiling are cards that usually always see play. So, uh, yeah, the other card that they got is Sanitize. Obviously, we already knew this was going to be a really good card. Uh, this was in, you know, my tweets for three cards that we're going to make the most impact in the format, but obviously here the rest of the deck has remained the same, but with Sanitize also you are almost guaranteed to have Ignis ready on four here, so that's extremely good. Um, next up here we've got Arcane Hunter, uh, which obviously did pick up Yogg-Saron 2, at least in this version of the list it's playing Yogg-Saron, and it's also playing Celestial Shot. This card's really, really good with Ricochet Shot, but it's also really good to curve into Eversong Portal, which kind of explains why they nerfed Halderon Brightwing now here, but I don't even think it needed to be nerfed still, but I guess they wanted to play it on the safe side, so it, it ended up getting nerfed here. But this deck still performing really, really well. It's a few percentage points behind Odin Warrior, but it's still up there quite a bit. There's two versions of this deck going around now. This version and the version that still plays like Ancient Kraken Bane and stuff like that and tops its curve at Starstrom Bow. Next up here, we've got Mech Rogue with no new cards in it, but I it has to be suggested here partially because the deck is still really good. It's really good against any non-warrior decks out there right now. Um, and, you know, most people are kind of sick and tired of playing Odin Warrior already. It seems like they cried about not having a Control Warrior deck, and now people are already tired of it. Well, can't say that we didn't say that this was going to happen, but it's happening. So, yeah, this deck performs really, really well since the beginning of the expansion, and nothing's really changed with it here at all. Uh, I think people have gone back to this version with like Posic and Prison of Yogg Saron just because it's a catch all. Um, and the meta is not completely settled. Once the meta gets settled down, I think they'll go to other versions of Mech Rogue, like the Mothership version, or if the meta speeds up, they'll go play like Bronze Gatekeeper or something like that. Control Warlock did not pick up any new cards either. However, this deck is still performing really well against some of the slower decks, and this is one of the decks that can actually beat Odin Warrior uh, pretty decently here with a high roll of Symphony of Sins into Sargeras. Start getting those 3-4 taunts every single turn, and that's hard to keep up with, even for Warrior. Um, the other thing that's really hard for other mid-range decks to compete with is Doomkin. I would probably be playing two copies of this right now, even though it's rel a little bit slow. I think you have enough early game anti-aggro in your deck here that you can get away with playing two Doomkins because they're so good in those slower matchups right now. And then we're going to start getting into three of the decks here that are a little bit niche in the format. Uh, but they're still performing relatively well. The first one being probably the most popular Legend deck uh, that's out there right now, pretty much because it's the funnest deck, and that's Yogg Rogue here. Obviously, you're just trying to replay 
a whole bunch of yogs with Shadow Step and Breakdance here and get enough value to win the game off of Yogg Saron and a bunch of tentacles. Uh, but all in all here, you can fall back obviously on like Putricide or the Sinstone Graveyard, the ghosts that you get from this. Also help you put some pressure on your opponent too. And you do have some burn in here with the tentacle grip and stuff like that. But all in all, this deck's really about having a lot of fun its win percentage right now at Legend is right around 50%, so it's not like a, an incredible deck here, but it's definitely, like I said, it's the most popular deck and the one that I've run into the most at Legend since the expansion launched. A uh, deck that is picking up a little bit of steam here is Miracle Druid. Uh, this deck is all about just playing a whole bunch of spells as fast as possible and cycling through your deck. And hopefully you fizzle like a Yogg and an Auctioneer together in a snapshot. And then you can really pop off and have um, almost unlimited, yeah, almost an unlimited amount of value here. Um, but all in all, this deck is performing really, really well. You can also just race to 10 mana and get Ignis a 10 mana weapon. And that's going to be your win condition too. You obviously have Pounce in here and Rake and a whole bunch of, you know, uh, stat buffs for your weapon here too. So if you roll Wind Fury, you should be good to go. Uh, this deck is a little bit weaker to some of the control decks out there, I think, here. And if this deck becomes too good, I think people are just going to start playing Viper. And even though you can't get rid of like the snapshot or something like that, I think Viper slows down your tempo uh, a little too much to win the game here. Uh, so this deck is one of those decks here. If you're not very good at this style of deck, I would not play it because it's it is harder to, to play than most others. Uh, but a deck that is pretty easy to play and a deck that only has one new card in it is Undead Priest. Uh, this deck has been performing really well for me, at least here. And the only new deck that it, or new card that it has is Soul Burner Varia. Obviously, here this is just really good here to finish out games with. Um, it also makes your boards a little bit more harder to deal with. Uh, but all in all, this deck is relatively unchanged. Uh, this deck performs okay against Warrior, which is why I think it's picked up Steam. Um, but you do get some draws that are a little bit dead against Warrior too. So, uh, you know, don't pick this up thinking, oh, I'm going to beat, you know, Warrior or, you know, some of the other matchups here relatively easily. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think this deck's like probably one of those decks that's like 52 percent win rate here at legend uh but it's going to be really good against some of the the more popular decks in the format and then really bad against like the the lower tier one decks here so uh all in all pretty solid deck though still and we're going to move to wild here where you have disco luck is still performing really well uh i have to put it here simply because this card has not been changed yet, so that's pretty much that in a nutshell. Uh, Secret Mage has been making a climb back up here because of Tony Druid being a thing, so I have to put this here because this deck kind of farms that deck really well, so uh, watch out for this one if you're on ladder. King's Bang Rogue is a deck that I've been uh, having good success with here recently here. Um, yeah, it's a little bit rough against like even warrior, uh, but it can be even warrior pretty efficiently here unless they have sticky fingers in their ETC. Uh, the ETC here is leeching poison evasion and scabs. Obviously here scabs is like a last ditch resort here, but uh, the other two are you know, relatively easy to understand. You have Zephyrus in here because you cycle through your deck so much uh, that you're almost guaranteed to have him active once you get to him. Uh, so this deck performing relatively well against a lot of the control meta right now. Uh, even Shaman still doing, or even Warrior, sorry, is 
Uh, also still doing relatively good. The ETC that I have for this one is Barov, Sticky Fingers, and Rokara. I put Sticky Fingers in there for the Mirror Match and uh, the Kingsbane Road matchup because I was running into a lot of Kingsbane Road on my Climb to Legend uh, this month. So I decided uh, I was going to play Sticky Fingers over an additional like Shield Slam or something like that. Mech Paladin is still good. It's unchanged. Um, not really too much to say here, other than that, you know, I think if they are making actual changes to the wild, I think Mech Warper is going to get a change to Mech's cost one less, but no less than one. Um, or it might just outright get banned. We'll have to wait and see. I think it's one of the cards that they're looking at here, along with like Auctioneer and Chambers of Viscidus about possibly being straight up banned from the format. And lastly is Even Shaman here. Yes, you've got Quest Shaman that's doing relatively well too, uh, but Even Shaman, this is a straightforward deck, so I have to put it here for this. Uh, obviously, not a lot of whole new cards here. Uh, you've got Quest Druid that's still doing relatively well in Wild. Uh, you got Miracle Rogue that's doing okay in Wild too. Uh, you definitely got some other decks out there because Wild is so vast. Uh, Shutterwalk Shaman, obviously still doing relatively well there too. But if I were gonna pick up a Wild deck right now, I'd probably just play Disco Lock or even Warrior right now because those decks are just very straightforward and easy to play. Uh, so, yeah, that's my suggestions for making it to Legend in the rest of the month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll have to wait and see on what the balance changes is for next week. Because they have to almost be guaranteed for next week uh, at this point in time. Because they said that it would be before the end of the month. But it won't be until after the mini set went live. So, that's kind of where we're at right now. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.